folks, howdy. Sean Brock here with you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, I had to uh, get out from behind the microphones because this thing is so loud and then you couldn't hear me talking. Anyhow, this here, we haven't done a mandolin in a while and I'm, I'm grateful to get to do one. This here is a Nichols Road mandolin and if you don't know who Nichols Road mandolins are. It's Mr. Bruce Clark up in Hamilton, Ohio. And Bruce has been, he's been making mandolins for at least 20 years that I know of. And this here is for sale. Uh, we'll go over the specs a little bit here in a few minutes. Uh, we'll just kind of play through a few licks and chops and let you get an idea of what she sounds like. And this is just going straight up through an iPhone 12. Um, Anyhow, this belongs to Gil Benson, a real good buddy of mine, and he and I have been bandmates and just friends for for I don't even know how many years now, and Gil has been threatening on cleaning out his music room, and I'll be doggone if he doesn't make threats a reality, and he said, uh, you know, I'm going to send this down, I'm, I just I hang on the fiddle so much, and uh, I've got all these instruments around, and I can really kind of use the space. And uh, Gil and I and Bruce, all three, we know one another very, very well. And uh, I, I can tell you that one of the best mandolins I have ever played in my entire lifetime was made by Bruce Clark. So this is, uh, this is a good deal. This is a real good deal. I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. Um, but if you're interested in purchasing this mandolin, We'll have an ad on Mandolin Cafe, but you can contact me. You can uh, you can email me, sean at seanbrock.com, or you can go Google and get the website if you can't remember the email and you're not smart enough to rewind a, a recording. Uh, you can do all that, and uh, you'll, you'll pay Gil, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of the, the middle dude here. Let's do a few chops on her, see how she sounds. the balance real good uh, real good bass on the top You know, you can play real, real, this, it'll take a real traditional hand too. If, uh, if you kind of like doing that. Takes an octave, stays in tune pretty well. I'll say that it'll go out because I just put, put strings on it here just a few minutes ago. See what she got in A.
you can get all the way up there and you've still got bass. Check that out. <laughs> key of uh, maybe B. all the way up there. Uh, what can I tell you about this thing? This is a red spruce top. Um, Bruce always does his absolute best to, to find the uh, best red spruce that he can. I know one time he, he had told me that he didn't know if he would even consider building the mandolin out of anything other than red spruce. And, uh, you, you know, he still gets a nice, there's a nice roundness. There's a dryness there. But there's still a very good roundness. So he's, uh, he's kind of a man that, that's got his recipe going with red spruce. And uh, there ain't nobody suffering because of it. I can tell you that. Uh, Ebony Bridge, uh, James, uh, Bill James tailpiece there, a satin job it looks like, and uh, end pin, a true end pin, not a screw, uh, screw in type uh, strap button, but a actual end pin. And you can check out the red spruce there, and check out uh, the maple he's used on the back here. Real nice, man. Bruce is a classy guy. He makes a classy product. Um, his, his work is very lore inspired very very uh, he uh, also when he was when he started building Manlin's Maple Neck there when he started building Manlin's I know that he was taking some some advice and stuff from, from Will Kimball so if that don't say something I don't know what does uh, Ebony Fingerboard, as I said, it's abbreviated there to 20th fret. Very nice, man. I like that. I like that very much. Um, I like his design there, too, on the end of the fingerboard. I think that's really cool. Uh, so it gives it a little something where it's not just a, just a cutoff, you know. Uh, pick guard there, and that does look to be removable to me. There's a, uh, there's a Phillips head screw right in there. So you can take that off. Um, V-neck. This is a V-neck. Looks to be one and an eighth at the nut. Nice, nice neck. It's not. Um, it's uh, not really, really small. Like I don't know to me, like some of the Northfield, like the S series Northfields, 
are are a little small to me. This is a little bigger than that, but this is by no means something that's going to put a hurting on you. Um, really nice headstock work, scroll work there on the headstock. And Gil takes real good care of his stuff. So there's only just a very, very minor mark here or there on it. Uh, fully bound, of course. Uh, fret, frets are in great, great shape. It looks like it's brand new, pretty much. I mean, there's no fret work in sight. Um, truss rod. I think these are, I want to say these are Godo. I'm, I won't swear by it, though. Somebody, y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all are experts. You can look at those and tell right off the bat if those are what those are. But anyway, Bruce Clark, Hamilton, Ohio, Nichols Road. This is made in 2012. Plays nice. Um, the saddle is almost all the way down. Almost all the way down. And it's it's got some room there to lower it. But... Uh, you know, I hate those mandolins that you look at the between the uh, the base of the bridge and the, the saddle, and it looks like this. You know, you look, you could looks like one of those big ATM slots. You know, I hate that. And you don't have that on this because you know you're, you're losing some transference of energy when they get that real wide. Uh, Bruce has this bridge fit real nice. Uh, so everything's good to go on it. If you're interested in this mandolin, uh, you can give me a holler or give Gil a holler, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do to put her in your home.